Shazam! Hello from All Bricks Count. This is my review and summary of LEGO Star Wars A017 Darth Vader's TIE Fighter from 2009. Without a doubt, this is probably in my top five LEGO sets of all time. And that includes larger scale sets like UCS style sets. This particular set I have a particular fondness for because I brick linked most of it. I actually have a couple of copies of this set still in box, but this was actually my first attempt at assembling a set from scattered parts. It's a great looking set, displays well from most angles, actually pretty much all angles. I mean look, even on its butt here, it's looking good. It's got a nice clip mount for the uh, lightsaber. The cockpit is kind of basic, fits the figure. Nothing to write home about here. Little flicky missiles. Two little guns mounted on the windscreen. Included with the set is this nice Darth Vader figure, 0209. Nice print, not the first Vader, not the best Vader. That's a nice figure overall. Like I said, I guess I'm pretty biased. This is one of my favorite ships. So here's some of my collected photos. I did notice that at least one of my stickers is damaged. I'll have to actually replace it at some point in the future. It's funny the things you don't notice until it's too late. Originally I built this sometime in 2013 and it's taken me a long time to actually get some good photos and video together. And it's funny I'm doing this as I'm about to take it apart and put it away in storage for a long time. And let's not forget the most important part of my videos. <laughs> yes, it's very suitable. You're not going to be disappointed with this set. The wings do move a little, but they're sturdy and they're not going to fly off on their own. I hope you liked this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Tall Bricks Count on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you.